Oh. Right. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Single Flux here. I hope you are all well. I feel like you're very chilled today. I don't know. I feel just very chilled and cozy. I've got me fish in the background and Zolo say hi. Yeah, he, he said hi. He really don't give two shits, but yeah. Today I thought I would do a lovely little what am I loving this month or this time of the year. Also, follow me on my Instagram and on my Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and Snapchat. All of them. Make sure you follow, make sure you subscribe. We're really going to become a family, okay? The first thing I'm loving out of beauty this month or this time of year is um, this skincare range by Superdrug. I've literally, I've got so many of them. This is not sponsored. I just use this all the time. So I'm finding like, um, I'm someone who doesn't, I don't really get lots of spots. So when it does happen, I'm just like, whoa, like normally I have quite clear skin. So when I got spots, I just was like, I don't really know what to do, but I just thought, you know, I need to take action ASAP. So I found something because I have sensitive skin and I have dry skin, which is probably the worst combination ever. So I found this vitamin E super drug skincare range, which has been treating me so well. I just don't know. I, you normally would go for simple, but I thought I need something a bit more nourishing at this time of year because it is quite dry. And this range has been so good. I've got the leave on moisture mask i've got the nourishing night cream which i always use and then i've just got the intense moisture cream because obviously i've got dry skin as well and this is nearly finished now and i've got the gentle oat milk exfoliator which is so good especially if you don't want something that's quite harsh because i normally use like something that's got charcoal base but sometimes that is it's refreshing but it's quite harsh on your skin so this is quite nice because it is gentle, you know, soothing as well. But yeah, I love Superdrug um, own brand's products because they actually work as good as the branded products as well. So yeah, that is done. So my next favorite is the Ordinary High Spreadability Fluid Primer. Um, I have got um, one of their foundations, but I do use it as concealer, which is really nice. But I really like this um, primer because it's it comes up quite matte which I don't think it would. And I do like a primer that's a bit more tacky because I feel like it's actually doing its work. So yeah, that's that. It comes in this cute little medical bottle as well, which is so cute. But yeah, and it doesn't smell of anything because I have sensitive skin, so I don't like things that it's got too many, you know, too many chemicals and stuff. So this one has no fragrance, which is helpful as well. So yeah, that is that. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's hot. Ooh, so my next beauty favorite is something I've just recently bought. Um, it was my birthday on the Monday, so I treated myself to something cute and fabulous. Is Gold Girl by Carolina Herrera. Oh, I finally said the name right. And it comes in this cute little. I've probably ruined it already, but it comes in this cute velvet box as well. And look at the look bottle so the thing is i love i love the smell of this perfume because i have um rose oud which is uh, my sort of everyday scent but i quite like this for like special occasions and stuff because it is quite floral but it's a bit more muscular because sometimes you get floral ones that just smell they're just too sweet smelling whereas this one's a bit different but i'm telling you i cannot stand the bottle like look at it like look at it i just uh, <laughs> i the bottle but the smell is just oh it's just really really beautiful man it's sort of and it doesn't it doesn't fade as well being a perfume as well it doesn't fade which is good sort of you put at the beginning of the day and that sort of it but i quite like how it's got a musky sort of tone to it as well as it being a bit more floral so it is wearable if you wanted to use it for every day but i quite like using it for night sets as well i mean the bottle does the bottle does stand like if you put it down on the table it will stand but i just really don't like the bottle but the box the packaging of the box is so freaking cute so yeah that's that oh it smells so good i don't have being a fashion channel i don't really have a lot of fashion favorites right now I do have these lovely lovely sort of leather look jeggings and they're really thick oh my god they're so thick as well because it's so 
you know, it will keep you warm during the winter times. And it is quite durable because I've worn this a few times now and the elastic band on the top hasn't lost its shape or anything. The Emily New Look Leather Look Jeggings. Oh my God, that's so hard to say. But they're, yeah, they're just so beautiful. Especially if you want something like an alternative to wearing jeans or, you know, like joggers. It's quite nice and it does dress up an outfit, especially if you're going on a night out as well. They look so good with like um, patent block boots, which are really nice as well. So yeah, those are those. But annoying thing, which I can't stand is the pockets in the back actually are pockets, which is good. But at the front, it's not even a pockets. I really, I hate that. It just bugs me so much. But apart from that, they're really nice and I've been wearing them loads recently. And you can see how it's so crinkled and stuff. But yeah. Those are those, and they're so lovely. My other fashion favourite is these pair of trainers. Um, like I've said before, I just I'm not a trainer person. Like I have one pair of trainers, but I'm not like a sneaker geek or whatever. I do have loads. I just literally just one one will do me. And these ones are my favourite right now. I've only worn them like once. I will say they do. You have to be a bit careful with them because they do scratch on the inside. Like they make little like white marks if you do scratching because obviously they rub together sometimes i just love it it's just simple it's cool it's casual it gives me like yeezy vibes or adidas i literally don't know anything about trainers but yeah these are really cute and i like the elastic band at the front as well just gives it a bit of edge and those are those Ooh, look how cute they are yes so my next category is um watch and listen or tv and films literally all i've been doing as soon as it gets cold i just hibernate to my bed and i get a cup of tea and i'll watch shows that's literally i just don't like leaving my house when it's cold so <laughs> i'm not even joking so netflix has been my best friend and my sister actually told me about this um netflix series and i thought oh and i love horror films so i thought oh you know i'll watch it but i don't think i'll be scared hey. haunting i think it's called haunting on haunting on the hill house or house on a haunting hill i don't know i can't remember the name but i will put a thing my bob up here it is so good it's like no other horror series that i've ever watched it's just the, the jump scares you don't see them coming normally it's like really quiet and then you feel like oh, you'd be like oh jump scares coming sometimes it just comes out of the blue and you're just like Hoo! your whole body the ghost the holy ghost just Hoo! leaves you okay i swear that show is so 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 good i literally couldn't recommend it enough if um, obviously if you don't like horror films or you don't like being scared blah 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 then don't watch it because it's not going to be your cup of tea but if you do like that sort of thing you need to watch that series so my last favorite doesn't come under any category but it's something that's really been helping me just to organize my life recently and it's bullet journaling i found out about this on I don't know, on pinterest i just love going through pinterest and i was like oh what's this and it's literally organizing your journal or your planner for the day but just making it a bit more personal and a bit more creative as well this is like my week so far this is just because it was my birthday week i've done these sort of banners and stuff but it's just really nice to have like sort of you can make birthday pages i'm really not giving it that much justice but there is a huge community of bullet journalers online and you can just get inspired especially going pinterest like you can have your little collections and it's just a nicer way to sort of organize your week and i would recommend it for anybody who finds it hard you know keep it on top of everything if you've got a lot of going on in your life it is quite nice just to sort of write it down all in this book and just make it look pretty and then you can look back at your whole year youtuber that i'm watching a lot this month has been amanda rachley i think it's rachley sorry if i said that wrong um she does a lot of bullet journaling so it sort of does make sense having watching her right now but she's just so inspiring at like, her pages especially like her flip through where she does like um sorry she does like her plan with me so she plans like a month ahead and she has like sort of you know reoccurring theme that she has throughout all of that month and it's just really she just is inspirational because she like you can be like oh yeah take a few doodles from here and there and yeah her looking at her pages always looks so clean and elegant like my pages look a bit of a mess but hers are just really cute and you know they're all just well put together and it just does inspire you to like 
you know make your journal just look a bit more better so yeah I would definitely recommend watching her if you are into bullet journaling or if you're just curious to find out about it as well so yeah that is that so let me know what you've been loving this month what's inspired you a new podcast I really need to get new podcasts and I don't know if you hadn't noticed but there was no books this month I don't know why I haven't been reading but yeah uh, which is really bad because I'm really I am I love reading books so if you've got any recommendations any good books that would be good as well but yeah let me know what you're loving down below or you can dm me on instagram or twitter um my handlers will be down below and yeah until I see you next time guys bye so, this is going to be my bonus round bonus round time food and drink food and drink so one thing I cannot live without is tea, I swear. Especially when you feel there's that sudden hunger you feel like and it hits you right in your chest and you're so hungry but you just can't be asked to make food while you're hungry. It's just it's just a long process. Sometimes you know tea just comes in and fills that hole, I'm telling you. Just a cup of tea and then boom, you're not hungry anymore. <laughs> but that's what I feel sometimes. Generally I'm just like you know what, I actually can't be bothered to make food unless I actually have, I need that energy to get to the kitchen to make food. So a cup of tea is what's up, like it's just so good. And PG Tips is the real MVP, okay? But oh my god, and another thing, I feel like a lot of people are going to kill me, but I like putting in my milk first before the tea because... I'm just weird like that. I don't know why, but a lot of people just slate me for it, and it's not my fault. I just, I just, yeah, it just tastes better that way, okay? Just leave me alone in it. Let me be. So, this is a very nostalgic one. This is all I ate when I was at university for three years. <laughs> I don't think you understand. This was all I ate chicken, these chicken noodles. I don't, co coca, coca oriental instant noodles. Listen, these bad boys saved me every time and I feel like it's just because of nostalgia that I've decided that I want them back in my life because I think I'm just becoming lazy and I'm just like, oh you know I'll just make some noodles. Five minutes, fish bosh bash. Everybody I know hates these noodles but for some odd reason they just hit the spot especially when you're hungry. I'm sorry these are great and they're only like under a pound so who's really complaining? <laughs> who's complaining? Not me. So my next favourite is Peri Peri Salt, the Nando's one, okay? I don't know why I didn't figure this out earlier in my life, but Peri Peri Salt is just the one. Do you know what? Like, I don't even understand why now, even when I go to Nando's, I get Peri Peri Fry, like Peri Peri chips. Why don't I just get the normal chips and then just put this on since I already have like six of these in my house? Editing this video, I realised that they're actually the same price as normal chips, so stupid ass me. Oh my god, listen, this just changes, this changes the game. I don't know why I'm so late to it, but that does peri peri salt. <laughs> I need to be buried with you, like, you're just, you're just fire. My last food favourite is... Da -da 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 -da! This bad boy, oh my god, I freaking love Super Mole. I know it's like a Marmite thing. Some people love Super Mole, some people hate Super Mole, some people don't fucking know what it is, some people think I'm drinking beer. <laughs> oh man, I just freaking love Super Mole. It's a malt beverage, if you didn't know, it's non alcoholic. It is so good. I only recently found out how much sugar is in it, and it hasn't deterred me. It really should, to be honest, but. This bad boy, you know what I was saying about the tea? If you can't get to the tea, yeah, and you're feeling hungry, this is a full meal. This is just a meal. You don't even understand how many I've got in my fridge right now. I will forever love Super Malt. I just wish they would bring out a bigger bottle for myself. But you know what I don't fuck with is those cans. So you don't have like this ones, the, what is it called, the glass bottle one, and then they have the, the can one. The can one is dirty, it's dirty, but this, this is heaven sent, okay? I'm really going to go now and have some noodles and some soup mops. See you later, people. Peace, peace, okay? Peace.